Welcome back to this Pokemon Emerald walkthrough. In the last part we explored Falarbur Town and in this part we will go through Route 114 and explore Meteor Falls. This man will give you TMO 5 Roar. This move forces the target to switch out with another Pokemon. During wild battles, the move makes the battle end. Four new Pokemon are available on Route 114 and one of them is Wobbly. This Pokemon is a dual normal flying type, but when it evolves into Altaria at level 35 it becomes a dual dragon flying type. It's difficult to train up as a Swablu due to its weak stance and lack of good moves, but as an Altaria it can become a formidable fighter. Combine the move Dragon Dance with moves such as Earthquake or Fly and you've got yourself a deadly attacker. Also available on this route is Lombre, the evolved form of Lotad. Surviper is a pure poison type Pokemon and it actually has a base attack and special attack stat of 100 making it stronger than Arbok. In addition to poison type moves you can learn moves of types such as Dark, Fire and Ground. Not a bad choice if you want a poison type on your team. Lastly we have Nuzleaf, the evolved form of C Dot. If you don't feel like training up a C Dot, which can be a bit of a struggle, you can wait until you come here to catch a Nuzleaf.
Now we are approaching the entrance to Meteor Falls, and you may have noticed that on this route there are several places where you can make a secret base. Meteor Falls is actually much larger than what you see here, but until you get HMO7 Waterfall you can't do much in here. A little further up ahead you will encounter Team Magma with Professor Cosmo from Falarbar Town. Team Magma will eventually race off towards Mount Chimney with a meteorite that they have stolen, with Team Aqua chasing after them, and this is a hint as to where you should go next. Meteor Falls you can catch Soul Rock, which is a dual rock psychic type. It works better as a rock type than as a psychic type, but it works even better in double battles together with its counterpart Lunatone. You will see a good example of that later in the game. When you come out of Meteor Falls you will be on Route 150 north of Rustboro City. And here you can catch the normal type Jigglypuff. It may look like a useless Pokemon, but when you evolve it into a Wigglytuff, it can be a very useful ally. Its attack and special attack is quite good, and together with its rich move pool, it can be used for a lot of different things. You can also find Swellow, the evolved form of Halo here. Black Belt Knob will have a Machamp on his team from the third rematch and onwards. If you use Thief on this Machamp after the fifth rematch, you can get a Black Belt, which will power up fighting type moves by 10%.
Now we are back in Rustboro City, and your next destination now should be the top of Mount Chimney. If you go back to Route 112, you will see that the cable car is no longer blocked off. 